know, I know. Hey. Uh, yeah, what's up? I've never seen that look on the captain's face before. Have you? Uh-uh. Kinda caught me off guard a little too. After all this time, I can't remember ever seeing him so upset. Do you think that if I were the one who got abducted instead of Elizabeth, the captain would have gotten that worked up over me? Of course he would. Absolutely, Dan. There's no question about it. You mean a lot to him. Yeah, I know he's a really kind person, but I still doubt he'd get that look on his face for me. <laughs> I would. Trust me, I'd totally get worked up for you. I'd rescue you by myself if I had to. <laughs> oh, King, you're just trying to make me feel better. No, that's not it. I'm just uh, letting you know that. It... <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. I guess we'd better get going. Oh, hey, wait a minute, I almost forgot. <gasps> Oslo! Is that a dog? No, it's a black hound. He's a special type of fairy who lives in between the human world and the fairy world. He's an old friend of mine, too. He's got this mysterious power that lets him teleport whatever he swallows to another place. So does that mean he can send us straight to Leonis? Exactly! You really shouldn't have waited such a long time to introduce us to your little friend here, you know? And it's not like the captain would have gotten angry. Having another pet around could be fun. Not when Oslo's favorite food is pork. Maybe you're right. <laughs> okay, Oslo. <laughs> already, can I? It's so dark in this thing's mouth, I can't tell what's going on. Plus, my butt's stuck, and I can't get out! <laughs> hey, King, could you please give me a little shove? So you actually want me to get down behind you and touch your... Hurry up! I can't! I just don't think I'm prepared for something like this. 